The more brick I could see on homes, the more I like it, obviously. It's in my blood. So I don't want to drive up the cost of brick veneer in any way for you as contractors. But at the same time, you need to be aware of the different devices that are out there, perhaps that you might like to use. This is one. There are several different types of netting or webbed devices that fit behind the wall in the one inch airspace behind brick veneer. But imagine, if you will, as this wall continued all the way to the top of this two story home, the mortar droppings that would collect in the back of this cavity. There's no way to keep that pristine. As hard as the mason tries, some mortar will fall back there. If that's the case, now notice here on the outside, above my flashing, I've only got about two and a half inches. If those mortar droppings get too deep, then it stops up the backside of my weep hole, even more so with a weep tube or something that's much smaller in diameter. That being the case, there are different devices out there that are sort of a, a net or a web. I'll hold it here on the outside of the wall. You can see how it's constructed so that once it's placed in the back of the cavity, in that airspace, the bottom of it is continuous and it keeps the mortar from falling down and blocking up the weep holes. It's also, if you'll notice, shaped in sort of an inverted pyramid type formation so that as the mortar droppings fall, there's always a place that it doesn't collect. This is a nice application that we just happened to find in the field. What I see here is a nice rubber flashing membrane at the bottom tucked up underneath the house wrap securely and a product here at the bottom that makes sure that the weep holes don't get compacted with mortar. When it comes to devices that uh, can be used to divert the mortar in the base of the cavity, there are many. This is just one. But know this, nothing replaces good workmanship. If the mason will be careful as he spreads the mortar, beveling it back toward the face of the wall before he lays the brick, and other techniques such as that to keep mortar droppings out of the cavity, then he's way ahead of the game. So there are things out there you could use. Good workmanship is essential.